Hey, what's going on, all you ghouls and ghosts out there? My name is Mike Macabra, and welcome to the graveyard. As always, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos, Friday Night Frights, Mouthing Up with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. But on tonight's episode, we have another special edition of Reviews and Reactions with Trailer Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yes, indeed. Uh, we're going to be reacting to a very, very interesting trailer, hopefully. I'm super excited. I'm on the hype train because it is the trailer to Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice or Beetlejuice 2. <laughs> um with Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, and I think, um, uh, something Ortega, Cindy Ortega, uh, she played Adam Wednesday and Wednesday on Netflix, uh, which was a fantastic show, um, so super exciting to get into this one. I recently read that Tim Burton revitalized his love for filmmaking because he decided to go away from CGI for this one and used stop motion. And I am personally all for that. Uh, from the original Beetlejuice, some of my favorite parts in the movie were the stop motion with like... Um, uh, Lydia Dietz's mother, she was a sculptor, and she had, like, a Christmas tree, like, serpent thing with a tail, and then they had, um, like, this ball, and it had, like, a bunch of, like, tendrils, and that's, <laughs> that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, but it was awesome nonetheless, so, um, yeah, super excited to get into this one, but, uh, no more ghouling around, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, ghouls and ghosts, Speed of Jules, Speed of Jules, official teaser trailer. And it just released a couple days ago, so I, I couldn't wait any longer. I had to get it done. It's Jenny Ortega, that's what it is. The juice is loose. Ah! All right. You heard it here for, for uh, heard it here first, folks. The juice is loose. Oh, um, yeah, there's, there's a little bit to be said, so see you in the review section. All right, ghouls and ghosts. That was the official teaser trailer to Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. As always, link to the original video will be down in the description box for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Oh, <laughs> I was smiling from ear to ear for this one. As te teaser trailers go, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I mean, they didn't give much away, so apparently somebody dies in the family. Um, if I had to guess, perhaps uh, the father. I forget his name, but uh, the actor in the original was Jeffrey Jones, I do believe. And I do believe he's dead. I I'm not 100% sure, but I think he's dead. And I didn't realize that, uh, realize that the, the realize this about him, but he had some issues in like the 70s or 80s, something about soliciting young boys or girls for sex or 
something with sexual misconduct with an underage uh, or with underages. So uh, I did not know that. Uh, kind of puts me off on him a little bit. Uh, much like the uh, Powder director who also directed um, uh, Jeepers Creepers. He was a pretty well known uh, homo or uh, homosexual pedophile and we're just going to leave it at that. It's hard to differentiate sometimes art from the actor and, you know, when they do some that kind of perverted stuff, that nasty stuff in their uh, personal lives, but I'm not going to talk too much about that. So, yeah, basically, from what I understand, somebody dies, they go back to the house, somehow they really spill juice. Um, I swear to God, what is her name? The thief. It was a huge thing back in the 90s, early 2000s. Winona Ryder, yeah, she was caught stealing stuff. Uh, she looks exactly the same, hasn't aged in, like, at all. And it's been, like, what, 20, 30 years now? I love how they did the the Coleman. I, I want to go home. I don't know the actual, like, song name, but I love, like, that Calypso stuff. Um, John Cherry has been known to use a lot of that in, like, earnest films. Uh, so I, I enjoy that kind of music. Very nostalgic to me. I, I don't, like, listen to the, like, Calypso music in, like, my spare time, but whenever I do hear it, I, I do enjoy it, so... One, just one of the most iconic roles of uh, Michael Keaton. And with it being less on the CGI and more practical effects, I'm I'm super hyped. Uh, I definitely want to react to the official trailer when it does uh, release. Trip down memory lane seems to be uh, quite the uh, theme for Hollywood movies. And you know what? I really don't care. I, I, I can go with this. It was going to be as good as the first one. Stop. Stop, stop comparing these newer generation movies to the old ones. You're never going to win. You're not going to have an open mind if you're like, oh, this is this is the best one. They shouldn't be remaking it or, you know, uh, making a sequel. Uh, you know, it's just for the money. Like, I, I get, you know, the, it, its whole purpose is to make money. But... Just try to go with it with an open mind. And I think it's just a proper time for everything to be to be had. And the juice is loose for sure. That being said, score. Being as subjective as I can. Um, obviously, this is a teaser trailer, not a full trailer. But like I said, as far as teaser trailers go, <laughs> its purpose is to make you hyped. It made me hyped but not too overly hyped. So four skulls out of five. Absolutely happy with that score for all the reasons I just stated. But I think that's going to be it for this episode of reviews and reactions with trailer Tuesdays and Thursdays. As always, if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my reaction videos. Friday Night Frights, Mouthing out with Mike Macabra, or whatever else I'm doing on this channel. As always, ghouls and ghosts, stay scared. <laughs>